Hey everybody, welcome to my usual me, and welcome to Life is Feudal, the MMO, and we are in Central City, guys. Let me check it out on the map. Boom! Yeah, it is massive. This place is huge. So anyway, guys, I went ahead, I found the most cool thing about this place I didn't know existed. You can claim one of these as your own home in Central City. There are houses everywhere. Didn't know you could do this, and I just figured it out. So, um... Oh, 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 I'm stuck. Oh, shit. All right, guys. Well, if you're stuck, what you do is don't panic. Go forward slash S-T-U-C-K. Okay? There you go. This is how to unstick yourself. It takes about 30 seconds, so bear with it. And then hopefully I'm going to be able to get out of here. These, these huts are so close together that it's not uncommon to get stuck like this so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get unstick ourselves and I'm gonna show you I bound to a house and that is gonna be the most wonderful thing for me because as a solo player you need a place to live there we go just like that you get unstuck and I bound to this house over here and this is claim is my home it's your home already I own this house now. There are two more rooms available, though. Now, the only problem with this, guys, oh, excuse me. The only problem with this, guys, is if you drop anything in here, I don't think you can pick it up. Let me see. Let me see. Let's go ahead and drop this flint. Drop from inventory. All right. That, normally, if you drop something in the city, you can't pick it up. Can I pick this up? Can't do anything with this object. So you still can't do anything in town. You, if you drop something, you can't do anything with it. So normally I'd be able to open that bag, but it looks like that when you drop something in town, it's gone. It doesn't belong to you anymore. But it says that this is my house. So I'm going to go ahead and respawn here if I die, which means that other hut, that other hut that I made in a previous episode is no longer my home. So somebody else can bind to that house, and that's fine. So I should I should respawn at this house if, for some reason, I die. So let's go ahead. We're going to take you to one of the trading posts, and I'm going to see if I can get one of those metal picks and sell them to the crown, see what it will give me, and hopefully we'll, uh, we'll make a few coins for a personal claim. That will be amazing if we can. It's really cool that I have a I have a spot here in town that I'm going to respawn at if I die. That's not so cool that if you drop something you can't pick it up though. All right, so let's see which way we need to go. Let's hit the map real quick. And if you look on the map, guys, there's a couple of icons here. Uh, this one is where are all that one right there is where all the um, the the tier two and above claims. Oh, there they are. All of those. All right. The this one right here with all the heads. That is where all your people are. I'm not in a guild, so there's not going to show up any. It's not going. Nothing's going to show up. And then right here, where the scales are, this is where the trading posts are. All of them. There are trading posts everywhere. Now, unfortunately, most it's it's broken right now. So most of the people who have trading posts can only use it for themselves and their guild. Um, and I wouldn't trust a trading post that was at a guild unless I knew the people just because I wouldn't, but there are three here in town. There's a, the Lungborg West Trade, there is the Lungborg Central Marketplace, and there is Lungborg Red Horse Bazaar. We're going to head over to one of these three, and we're going to see if we can buy, sell those metal picks that we stole in the last episode. All right, guys, I found that the fastest way to get around this city without too much trouble, without getting convoluted and all mixed up, is just to go up on top of the wall and just walk along the wall. And what I'll do is I'll bring my map up, and we'll shrink the map down so I can use it as reference. So I kind of have an idea when I'm going to get close to one of the trading houses. And we're just going to go ahead and follow this along until we get to where we need to be. It'll wrap back around, so I'm not too worried about it. But if you get in those houses, sometimes you get turned around, and it's not so easy to figure out where you're at. It looks like I'm going the wrong direction, but I'm going to be okay because it's going to wrap back around. The 
since we're on the outer perimeter. This is the west side. And I'm just going to get as close as I can to to the trading post, and then I'm going to drop down. So we're going to be, it looks like, because it's not the arrow that is you, it's the dot that is you, so I'm going to get as close as I can. It looks like it's that house to the left right there. You could jump off. There's not a whole lot of fall damage in this game. You might fall down, but see, I didn't do any damage, so it didn't really matter. I think this might be it right here, actually. Small plaster house. No, it's ahead, though. I think. Should be dead ahead. I'm pretty sure. I haven't been to this one yet, so I'm gonna. it's going to take me a minute to find it. That might be it right there. Nope. It looks like a small plaster house. Is that it right there? Oh, I'm tired. Got to rest. Wooden warehouse. It should be next to the wooden warehouse, I think. There's the trading post. All right, good. All right, so guys, this is one of the trading posts. As a matter of fact, let me go ahead. And the frame rate is going to be kind of crappy because it, it, there's so much going on here. So this is Lundborg West. And we can just take a quick look around here. This is what a trading post looks like. They all look the same. They're exactly the same. So we're going to go ahead and slip on in here. And then whenever you are looking to trade, hit trade. It, or just wherever on the building. doesn't matter. This is going to pop up. And it says Lomborg West Trade. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my inventory. And I'm going to go ahead and get the best pick. Actually, let's use the worst pick. That's going to be this one. And that's the 11 quality. And I'm going to go ahead and go to market. Wait for it. It's going to load. It's going to take a second. And now it says Red Horse Bazaar. That's not it. We are at Lundborg West. So we have to take this drop down menu, find Lundborg West, which is right here. Click on that. Or whatever trading post you're at. Okay. So there's a lot of them. There's a lot of people that have trading posts. All right. So let's go ahead and scroll back up. We're at Lundborg West. Put up for sale. And there the pickaxe shows up. Okay, click on that. And then if you want to put it up for sale, you can say how much you want to sell it for. But we're going to go sell it to the crown. It's good for 20 copper. That one pick that we stole yesterday is good for 20 copper. So we're going to sell it to the crown. And the goods are loading. And there you go. Up in the top left-hand side, it shows that I have 20 copper in the bank right there. So we're going to do that. I might save one. Let's save the best one. So this is 77 out of 78. That's 19 quality. This is 23 quality. All right, so we're probably going to keep the 23, I think. 21 quality. And, no, I think that's the only one. Wait, what's this one? There's one right here. Nope. 24 quality. So the 24 quality one is the one we're going to keep. All right, so we're going to sell the 23 quality. We're going to sell the 19 quality, we're going to sell the 21 quality, and then we're going to keep the 24 quality for ourselves, which is really, really cool. All right, so let's go ahead and, let's see, I assume that that went ahead and put it into the, see, they put it, oh, okay, put it into the, the, the West Trade because I, I control clicked to put it over there. So go into market. And it's not the Red Horse Bazaar, it's West. So you, every time you got to go back in and go West and then go I'll put up for sale. All three of my picks have shown up. We'll go ahead and hit pick, sell to the crown. This one's only worth eight because it's damaged, I think. This one is worth 28. And then this one is worth... 26. You know what? For freebie stuff, that's not a bad haul. That's almost a silver. It's 100 copper for one silver, 100 silver for one gold. So, 82 copper, I'll take it. I only need one to put my claim down. 
and then however big I need to make it after that is how and then we'll figure that out later we need to get this claim down before sunrise because when the server tick happens once the Sun is in the sky just a little bit the server refreshes and when it does that's when everything takes effect so we've got to get our claim down before the server tick it's nighttime now but morning is coming soon so let's go ahead I want to see if I can actually sell my shaped rock that I made quality four. I don't think it's gonna sell but we're gonna see anyway go to market and drop down to you gotta do this every time guys West trade put up for sale now if and then you hit this sell to the crown cannot be sold to the crown the crown does not want that so the crown does not want that so we can't sell it to the crown not surprised quality is really crap and it's shape rock they're so common now what about what about okay they won't take I don't think they'll take codfish this is quality 56 so let's see if he'll take it mark it let's see if he'll take really halfway decent quality fish there it is fried codfish no they won't take the fish either all right so that gives you an idea and it never hurts to have one item that you know they'll take just so you can put it in there and make sure that the the trading system's not broken okay so to get my coin back out guys I'm gonna go transfer coins it says I have 82 copper and I'm gonna that's in the in the warehouse which is or in the trading post which is the scales remember on the map now in this, this right here is a little coin purse so I'm gonna take all of it out so we're gonna slide this all the way down into the coin purse hit okay now the coins are in, now in my inventory okay they weigh 8.2 pounds if you can get silver get silver but by all means try not to get gold because uh, gold is worth so much that you're going to need to break it down into silver so that your claims can take it I mean you, it'll take the the gold don't get me wrong but it's going to use all of your gold you don't get change back guys so make sure that you change exchange your gold for silver or copper so you can put in the appropriate amount so that your claims don't don't cheat you and steal all your money all right we're gonna go ahead we got 82 copper out we're gonna head out we're gonna find a place to make our, our, our home and then I will be right back guys just as soon as I find a place to find to make my home I'm so excited this log is no good I can't pick it up don't drop anything in town because you can't pick it up now I'm lost help <laughs> 